Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of BDD using Behave, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use tags. So let's get started. First of all, what is the purpose of using tags? Using tags, we can categorize the scenarios into several categories, okay? If you have a good number of scenarios and you want to categorize them into different categories, we can do that with the help of tags. And later, after categorizing the scenarios into different categories, if you want to run some tests related to a particular category, you can run it, okay? You can customize your run. Instead of running all the scenarios from all the feature files with by providing or specifying these tags before the scenarios in the feature files, there's a possibility that at the end, when you want to run those scenarios from a particular category, okay, you can run by specifying the tags. So let me show you practically how to specify these tags and run the scenarios from a particular category. So here I'll take you to this PyCharm ID where we have this uh, sample feature files like such dot feature file. Okay. So what I will do here is before this scenario, I'll mention one tag that is uh, here at the rate. I'll say such. These are all user defined tags. You can give any name. And for example, here I'll say smoke. Okay. Now here I'll say, you can give any names. Okay. So here search smoke like that. And here I'll say search at the rate. Uh, uh, this is sanity or regression or regression. Let's write regression otherwise. Okay. Like this, I can write. I'll go to the login.feature file. I'll give different tags here. Let's say uh, at the rate login, I'll say at the rate login. And here I'll say at the rate smoke, I'll say. Hmm? So like this. Now I have already specified the tags before this uh, different scenarios in the different feature files but not the same tags for all the feature uh, scenarios in the feature files, okay? You see, the all the scenarios in this uh, search dot feature file are provided with the search. So if you want to run the test, okay, if you want to uh, run the test from the search dot feature file, I'll do one more thing before that. Uh, that is uh, here, I'll just uh, give it to only one second, just so just to reduce the time. So otherwise it will take a lot of time for running each and every scenario, okay? So, Anyhow, if I want to run only the search functionality related scenario, I can do that by specifying this tag. So just go to the terminal and if I say CLS and say, uh, initially if I say behave features, it will run all the feature files, uh, scenarios. That is a total, how many are there? One you already know from the previous session that this is a data driven scenario. It will, it's the same test is going to run three times and this, uh, in search only one, one time, two scenarios, total five tests will run, okay? Let's see that. When I say behave features means all this feature files containing all the scenarios are going to run one by one, okay? The first scenario is running. Now the second scenario should run. Total five scenarios. Second is running now. Total five will come because all the scenarios from the, all the feature files are going to run if you're not using any tags in the commands while running, okay? Third scenario. Now, fourth scenario is running. And final one, that is the fifth scenario is going to run. The fifth scenario, the final scenario is running. Total five scenarios got run. And you will see that all the five scenarios got passed. You say five scenarios passed. That's good. But what if I want to run only the search related scenarios in the search dot feature file? Here we have a tag like edit the red search, right? I'll do something here. I'll say behave features hyphen hyphen tags is equal to just give the name of the tag that is search. Tags is equal to search like this. Okay. You can you can do something like this. Okay. Behave uh, features hyphen hyphen tags is equal to give the name of the tag that you want to run. Let's say if I give search here, only these two tests will run. Out of five tests, two tests is going. Two tests are going to run. Presenter. Only two tests will run. Only the search related tests are going to run. Not the login. Login dot feature file tests are not going to run. Only the search related tests are going to run. Only two scenarios should run. Yeah, you see, only two scenarios got passed. And the, the two are from the search functionality. You see the search related, search for an invalid product. Other one is a search for a valid product. Only two scenarios got run. Remaining didn't get run. And now what if uh, I simply say, I'll give the regression tag. 
Okay, if I give regression, what will happen? Let's see. I simply say uh, behave features hyphen hyphen tax is equal to give regression. Only one scenario is going to run only out of all the scenarios uh, that are there in the login functionality and such functionality, only one scenario is specified with the regression. So only one scenario is going to run now. You can see that now. Only one time the browser will close, uh, open and close. That proves that uh, the scenario is running only one time. I mean, only one scenario which has attack at the rate regression got run. There is one scenario passed. And that is none other than such for an invalid product, okay, which is having the regression tag. You can do one more thing. That is, uh, uh, you can specify not to run one thing. Remaining all you want to run, but you don't want to run something having a tag name. Let's say I don't want to run something uh, having a tag name like at the rate login. So what will happen? Let's see. I'll simply say behave uh, apart from login, remaining all you run. Okay. So behave features. How to do that? Hyphen hyphen tags is equal to here. Instead of directly specifying login, you have to say hyphen login. If you say hyphen login like this, okay. You say hyphen login, not. It's nothing but not. Should not run something related to login. Okay. Apart from login, you can run anything. If you directly provide a login, no problem. But if you say hyphen login, not login kind of thing. It's not tag should not be login. Remaining all should run. Apart from login, remaining should run. You see such related thing got run. One of the such uh, scenario got run. One more such scenario is there that is going to run now. Yeah. Such for an invalid product also got run. That's it. Because we said should not run, run login. Hyphen login we said. Right. That's the reason. Apart from login, everything got run. Okay, so this is all about tax that I wanted to cover as part of this session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.